Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have one more video to film today and I'm super excited to film this video because as you can tell from the title below, I it's another haul video. It's a short haul video. Well, I say short, it's probably not going to be, but it's a smaller haul video than what I'm used to. But I am super excited for all these stuff. So as you can tell from the title below, it is a beauty bay haul because I didn't realise that they shipped to Northern Ireland until my cousin told me because she bought a few lip products from there and I thought well now that I know that they shipped to Northern Ireland why not get some stuff so first off you can hear my fan going in the background it's super warm in my my bedroom right now because my light is always like oh, super warm that's why it's a wee bit further away than usual also my hair just doesn't want to I straightened it and it just doesn't want to sit the way that it normally sits when I straighten it so I'm just letting it do its own thing I filmed this makeup look and if you want to know how I've done it and what products I've used the link will be in the description bar below guys go and check them out I love doing get ready my videos if you want me to do I didn't say this in my last in, my, in that video but if you want me to do kind of like chatty get ready with me videos let me also know in the comments below of this video and the get ready with me video go and let me know hit me up and i might do that for you guys don't know what i talk about but uh i do something anyway so this video i'm so excited okay where to start with this video i am going to go into this box i the box came a while ago and i have had this sitting in my room for a while so I got rid of the box that it originally came in it's just a normal brown box with my address and stuff on it so I have kept some of the stuff in an old glossy box that I love and yeah we are going to start off with this so I am going to butcher the name of this so so much because I can't say this Mario also before I start if you can hear anything in the background, my sister has just decided to start blow drying her hair. So apologies for that. But um, this is the Mario Bad Badescu. Is that how you pronounce his name? I have seen this so much. Everybody loves and adores this over YouTube, uh, Instagram, blogs, Facebook, everything. Everybody just loves and lives for this stuff. So of course this is the facial spray with aloe vera herb and rose water. You can get this not just on Beauty Bay but other sites and stuff like that and of course their own site. But you can get this in M&S, Marks and Spencers. So uh, just keep a wee eye out for that as well. But yeah I love the smell of this. I've sprayed it already, not today but I love the smell of this. It is so hydrating. My face is now going to look like water has just went into my face like I can see it myself. But I feel like it gives you such like a refresh look even on its own. Like if you're not wearing any makeup or whatever it kind of just refreshes your skin so much. And it's probably, it's not just because of the rose water but it's also because of the aloe vera. Aloe vera is really really good for all kind of skin types so yeah. I had I was gonna pick up the small bottle because I was like mm, I don't know if I like it but I just picked up the big bottle because I love me some sprays um yeah so people use this as a like a just every day you want to hydrate your skin spray it on but a lot of people use this as a setting spray as well I don't know why because it doesn't really oh yeah it does say use it to set makeup smooth your skin in dehydrating conditions or to give your skin a quick boost anytime anywhere like mist over your face and neck as needed okay so it does it is a setting spray I didn't realize that I just thought it was like for hydrating but that's quite good I'd probably use this like the rest of my stuff before I do my makeup and then after I do my makeup but I really really like this love the way it sits on the skin it's dried in already and it's just it's it's just really nice I really recommend this to anybody who likes makeup and even if you don't like makeup as much as what I do because I know I have a lot of makeup 
but this stuff is just amazing I love it so I have that the next thing I have is a Jeffree Star lipstick now I have got a funny story about this well it's not really funny I bought this and I'm going to a lot of people are going to hate me right now but I don't actually like Jeffree Star himself um, but I do really like the lipsticks and you know a lot of people are probably going to turn around and go well if you don't like him why are you supporting him by buying his makeup like my mum said to me when I showed her that I bought this but I just really like their, his makeup, his makeup is really really nice um, him on the other side it's debatable but um, his makeup is really really nice and the packaging is super cute so you guys know what the packaging looks like it's the star on the lid and the pink lid and stuff and this one is in Deceased uh, you wonder where he came up with all these names like Deceased really but this shade guys oh, it is just like the perfect purpley mauve colour oh, this is like mm. Who, who else gets excited over makeup as much as me? Like, this looks so good. I really cannot wait to wear this. I didn't want to wear it for this makeup look because, it, first off, it wouldn't have went for this makeup. It wouldn't have went with this makeup look. But second off, I wanted to show you before I start using it. This stuff looks so nice. Now, I have tried this on my hand before just to make sure that I wasn't allergic to any of this stuff in it. But I tried it on my hand before. And when it dries, it still has like a like a tacky consistency. Now, right now, I don't have it at, on my desk. But right now, I'm wearing the uh, NYX lingeries. And they don't have like, you can touch it and it's not tacky whatsoever. Whereas when this dried in on my hand, it was a bit, like I, I left it for quite some time. And I still went, I, when I went back to like wipe it off, I touched it to see what, what it felt like and it still was kind of a wee bit tacky so I'm hoping it, it was just that day it was maybe just a humid day or whatever and it just didn't dry in properly but I'm going to try it again and we'll leave it on my hand to see if it's going to do the same thing or not but I can't wait to try this anyway because this this color like my heart is just going so quick for this color right now like I'm in love in love so <laughs> Moving on because we're getting a wee bit weirded out. Um, in here, this came like this, and if you haven't already seen through the packet, it is the glow kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills. So this is the Moonchild. If you guys already know, I have a fake version of this that I bought off eBay, and I wanted to do a comparison video for it. So that's pretty much why I bought it. But also the colours in here are mwah, gorgeous. So as you can see, it is like. Or you can see my ring light but it's like a rainbow effect when the light hits it and then these colors these colors okay my mom saw the purples and thought oh my days like you're gonna just look like a blueberry like you're gonna look purple so um but they don't come off as purple so that's the purple one, which is purple horseshoe. It is it is still kind of purple, but <laughs> that looks really bright. But it's not too intense. Um, this one is blue moon, which is that one next to it. What else? Lucky clover, which is a green. Oh, that green! Oh, that's so cute. Uh, let's go let's just swatch all of them we have star which is like a silver just there we have pink heart does it have like a pinky shimmer to it oh it does pink heart is right there and we have to do it in the other hand blue ice which is just probably going to be like a white shimmer do you know what it's got a blue tint to it which is really really nice I like that so I could actually do comparison videos with this for another video that I have planned but this go kit I know everybody already has it and I am late to the party as usual but I really really like this so the last thing that I bought was this which you can't even tell what it is because you can't read it 
Um, this is the Suella, or Suella? No, it's not. It's the Suiva. It's a Plaz, Plaz, I can't say it. Plazar palette collection. Ah, I showed my sister this, and she said it looked like chocolate bars. They are supposed to be like chocolate bars, but look at the packaging. It is just oh, that's the back. It is so just darn cute. And then of course you lift off the top, and here's gold. And there are the three palettes. Yes, three eyeshadow palettes. These were this was actually a cheap. This is quite cheap for three eyeshadow palettes. I thought it was going to be a lot dearer than what it was. Going to be like going to be honest with you guys. Um, for the price that it was, I probably would have got. Sorry, my ring light is like falling down. So if the light changes, that's what it is. Um. I would have probably got one eyeshadow palette for the price of three of these. So let's just get started. So this one's called Coco Blend. This one, light. Would you like to just stay still for like a couple minutes till I'm over with this video? Then I'll put you back to where you're from. Like just, just stop. Ah, oh, okay. So this is the Coco Blend one. It looks like this. How cute look at these colours. They're so darn cute. So we have one that actually looks like the colour that I'm wearing today, which is Warm Notes, which is this one here. And then we have this one that's called Infused. And I on the screen it looks a wee bit greenish on my viewfinder, so I hope it doesn't come across like that. But this is like a brown with gold flecks in it. These colours are just so nice. So let's swatch a couple of them. Let's swatch and um, let's swatch that warm notes one. Ooh. Ooh. Oh damn. Look at the pigmentation of these. And then we're gonna swatch that brown one that I said would have gold in it. Infusion. It's came off a wee bit black, but we can't even see the gold in that, guys. That is just so gorgeous. Um, let's see what else. Let's do the butter start because that's the lightest in there palette, and I hope that it stays light. Oh yeah, yeah it does. Yeah, yep. Yeah. I just love this palette. I'm so glad that I got these. Okay, last one we'll do in here is so. Let's see. Freshly toasted. Because it's a nice shade. It's a nice, like, browny orange shade. Which is that one. Oh, the, this palette is going to be used so much. So, so much. Because you guys know that I'm loving, like, my warm um, eyeshadow looks at the moment. So this one's definitely going to be used a lot. The next one we have is Carmel Melang. Which is like that. And. Oh, look at that color! Okay, so the first thing, of course, we have to swatch is this bright, bright orange here. This is af Aftertaste. Sorry, it's really hard to read it. Um, aftertaste. So let's swatch it. These eyeshadows are just so pigmented and so nice. I hope they come off as strong as what they are when you swatch them. Um, let's edible jam because it's like a purple with gold, gold glitter in it. Guys, that just looks like dark on the screen, but the glitter in that, oh, but it's not like chunky glitter, which is bloody brilliant. Um, Let's start soft. That's a nice color. It's like a softy brown color, which is nice for a transition. And last color we'll go for liquid center. Oh, oh! Can you see that? Oh, that is a lovely color. 
I've you know I've been loving my like orangey warm tones right now and that one's that one is the what's that called liquid center that one is just so nice okay again another palette that I will be using quite a bit um there's how many shades are in here two four six eight ten ten shades in each palette so that's 30 shades uh, I am dying right now. These are so, so nice, so pigmented. Love me, love me. Do you love me? Do you love me? Yes, I love these. Okay, next palette is the last palette, which is Blank Fusion. So it's supposed to be like white chocolate. So, of course, dark chocolate, milk chocolate, white chocolate. So, these are more lighter tones, of course. But look at this one right here. Like, does that not just do something to you? Okay, so that one is called Visions of Gold, and that is the one we're going to try out first. So, guys, guys. <laughs> Look at that. I don't know how I'm going to use that in a, a, an eyeshadow look, but I love this colour so much. That, that That's just crazy. Okay, so we've tried that one. Single Origin, which is right next to it, which is like a lighter. Oh, that one's just so nice. Oh. And then we have Noble. I love them. Okay, what other ones have we got? Late Bloomer, which I'm gonna have to swatch with my thumb, which is this one. That kind of reminds me of the other one from the last palette that I just showed you. But it's not as warm. It's really nice. And then of course you have all like your transition shades down the bottom, which are gorgeous. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. So oh joy in the box. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Let's watch you joy in a box. Because you look like a lovely transition shade. My fingers are a wee bit still wet. That one's Joy in a Box. That's a lovely, lovely transition shade right there. I cannot wait. Cannot wait to use these palettes. Cannot wait. I'm going away for a friend's birthday in November and I more than likely will be taking one of these with me. Um, so uh, I just need to find out which one because I love them all so much. Um, but yeah. Oh, guys. I just love these palettes so much. <laughs> Okay guys, so that is everything for this video. It is starting to get a lot darker, so I apologize if the lighting has went in and out on this video because it is dull as anything outside. I have my ring light on and my uh, big light on, but it doesn't really do much. Um, but I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, you know what to do. You hit the thumbs up button. Also, you can hit that subscribe button, which is around this video somewhere and become part of the family and see me use all these lovely products that I have bought um, and see other haul videos and stuff like that. Um, I cannot wait to do like a uh, get ready with me video with these products. I, oh, I can't wait. Okay, but without further ado, that is the end of this video, guys. And I am still so excited, but I need to go and edit some of these videos um, because I still have quite a few other videos that I need to edit that I filmed already. Uh, but yeah, guys, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. Let me know in the comments below if you've ordered from Beauty Bay before and what you've ordered. Um, if you have used any of these stuff, like if you've used like the Anastasia, the oh, the lip products. If you have any other like lip products from the Jeffree Star range that you think that I might like or anything like that just let me know in the comments below because I like talking to you guys 
and um, yeah, I will get back to you. But yeah, guys, I hope you like this video, and I will see you in my next one. Mwah! Bye. She's out of her mind